Hey guys, looks like it's beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. I do certainly appreciate it. Thanks for spending a little time with this old man today. Uh, today's beer comes from Dark, Heart, Dark Horse Brewing. This is their Bourbon Barrel Age Plead the Fifth. And this particular one has a vintage of 2013 right here uh, on the front of the label here. Uh, this wraps up the three that, uh, that Rico has sent me. Uh, this is an 11 percenter, which surprises me because the regular versions are 11 percent, and usually when you barrel age a beer, uh, it, is, uh, it absorbs some of the alcohol from the bourbon, which is increases the, uh, the ABV usually. This one does not for some reason. I don't understand that. Uh, so hopefully they've used first run bourbon barrels and not had uh, uh, beer in them before. So we shall see uh, what I think of this one after it. And I may have done a bourbon barrel aged version. I didn't go back and look or, or search. I'm going to do this just like it's the first time I've ever had it. And like I said, Rico sent me those beers. So uh, uh, evidently he pulled them out of his cellar, his closet or whatever. Because they were all fairly old vintages. Uh, which is not going to hurt the style of beer. Uh, so uh, we shall see what this brings to the table. Final beer of the evening for me. Uh, and I do love a bourbon barrel Russian Imperial style guys uh, that's the only way I get any bourbon because I don't drink bourbon anymore but I love that taste so uh, let's jump over to untapped and see if they have any additional information they're calling this uh, an 11 percent and a 65 IBU on this beer so uh, We've got the, the vintage, we've got the ABV, and we've got the IBUs, the three important information uh, pieces that we need to make an educated purchase. But Rico, thanks again, my brother. I do appreciate it. I'm pretty sure you pulled these out of your private collection and sent them to me. So I do appreciate it, sir. Uh, commercial description here on Untap says, this beer is a big and full-bodied imperial stout aged in bourbon barrels with lots of roasted malt, but very balanced with heavy hops, brewed with a top secret root. Hmm? <laughs> this uh, beer has an amazingly complex flavor that you must wait for. Well, we're not waiting too much longer. We're getting ready to find out what it's about, but we are gonna let it warm up, uh, as I always do to all the beers, guys. So, uh, uh, let me jump over here and get this situated before I pop the cap off of this bad boy. It is time, and I took a little bit of time before I turned the camera on to cut me a notch in this wax because I hate wax on a bottle. Uh, there are reasons for that, but I think they're asinine. But, you know, there's a lot of people thinking that these beers can be copied or mimicked or, or whatever. I just don't see that happening. I didn't get any hiss at all on that one, guys. So hopefully it's got some carbonation left. And actually, I, I had to force it so hard, I bent the opener. I hate when that happens. That's another reason. I mean, you got to bend your stuff up just to get the damn cap off of it. I hate wax. Y'all know that. I think wax is like tits on a boar hog. Useless. Alright, into the glass we go. And while I pour this guy in it, and I doubt it's going to have a whole lot of carbonation with no hiss. 
Uh, food pairing, general chocolate dessert digestive. Glass out of pint, Becker and Alec Tumbler Snifter. I got my favorite tulip glass today, guys, and can be sold for a long period of time. Don't think they used any coffee or anything that's going to fade. So you could sell this beer for a long, long time, hopefully. Now, this one's been in the bottle, depending on when they bottled it. This is uh, June of 2018, and this says vintage 2013. So I'm going to just go round it off. Five years in the bottle. No head. Zero. Pitch black, guys. I'm not getting any light through that at all. To the nose we go. Nice bourbon notes. I'm getting that. Rich roasted malt. Hints of caramel, toffee, and black molasses. Maybe a little bit of tobacco or licorice. The, uh, the bourbon is overpowering any kind of dark fruit that I can get right now, but we're going to let it warm up. It's right out of the fridge and see if we can detect any dark fruit once it comes up to room temperature. It smells pretty damn good. I mean, uh, smells, uh, matter of fact, it smells awesome. Definitely getting the bourbon notes. And that's what I want to see when I see it on the bottle. I want to see it. I want to smell it. I want to taste it. Because I'm sure this is not a cheap bottle of beer to buy. Maybe get a little bit of vanilla and coconut now that it's opening up a little bit while I'm flapping my gums. Smells pretty good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Rico. Oh, wow. That is absolutely delicious, guys. Rich roasted malt, bourbon, coconut, some woodiness, bittersweet chocolate, black molasses, little bit of vanilla. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. And every time I put my nose to it, I'm getting more and more vanilla and coconut. Mm, I can just imagine what it's going to be once it warms up to room temperature. One more sip. Wow, so smooth. I just can't believe it's still 11% once they put it in the bourbon barrels. Usually that, that kicks it up a notch or two on the ABV, but they're telling me it's still 11% like the regular version. Kind of find that hard to believe, but it is what it is. We have to go by what they're telling us. So, let me sip on this, let her taste it, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I've been sipping on it for a while. I didn't leave a whole lot of lacing at all on the glass, but uh, usually that's a, uh, a representation of, of uh, how well the beer is made, but you can't always go by that because this is an outstanding beer. It has got a lot of flavor. The bourbon is there. The roasted malt is there. Hints of caramel, toffee, black molasses, coconut, vanilla, bittersweet chocolate, maybe some raisins or some figs in there. It is absolutely outstanding, guys. This has cellared very well. Five years in the bottle. And now that it's warmed up, awesome. Freaking awesome aroma. A lot of stuff going on with this beer. You, if you can get a bourbon barrel age version of Plead the Fifth, you need to pick it up. Cellar it. Pick up several of them. Have one after, have one fresh. Then have one after a year or two or three. And then one after five. Pick up a four pack of these and then one after ten or one after fifteen or even twenty years. This is going to be an awesome beer and this is going to get better as the cellars and everything comes together and combines. Uh, awesome. This is absolutely outstanding, guys. I am blown away by this beer. And like I said, Rico didn't tell me what he paid for this. Bourbon barrel aged beers are a little more expensive than the regular versions, of course. Uh, but this is a very tasty beer. It's, uh, I'm not a fan of the wax, y'all know that. But uh, it is a very tasty beer. Final chug. I'm not leaving anything in this glass. <clears throat> Absolutely awesome. Absolutely freaking awesome. 
there's a little, probably a lot of beers that cost a lot more than this. Like I said, I don't know what he paid for this. He did not tell me. Uh, but it is a very good example of a bourbon barrel aged Russian Imperial Stout coming in at 11% if that's accurate. Uh, I have my doubts about that once. If the regular version is 11% then they put it in first run bourbon barrels which the bourbon uh, alcohol is going to be more than what this beer is and it doesn't absorb any of that alcohol I'd be damn surprised if this is not a 12 or a 13 percent after it comes out of the bourbon barrel but they're telling us it's 11 percent so we have to go by that so it's outstanding guys it's a 10 for me absolutely 100 uh over to beer advocate beer advocate says 4.53 probably some of the best numbers I've ever seen from these guys over there since they changed their ratings uh, on a beer. 4.53. Awesome. Absolutely awesome numbers. And they say it's world class. And I, I agree. It is. It's world class. It's, that's beyond outstanding. World class. It's top notch. Over to Untapped. We're going to go over there and they say 4.42. Awesome numbers there. Not quite the best numbers I've seen from them. But pretty close. Definitely into the A category, not the A minus, the A category. And uh, I can't think of a reason why I should not give it to 10. So that's why I'm giving it to 100, to 10. It was a perfect final beer of the evening for me. Uh, didn't get a whole lot of booziness. Now, there are some big beers that, are, like Avery does, that are fucking seven, excuse me, 17, 19, 21, 23 percent which has a heavy booziness to them being that much alcohol. I mean, it's, it's almost virtually impossible to hide 21 or 23% alcohol. Now, this is half that, 11%. Uh, so it drank very, very well. So I enjoyed this. Uh, tasty beer, guys. Uh, if you see or you can get your hands on a Plead the Fifth bourbon barrel aged version, no matter what the vintage is, you probably ought to pick it up. If your pocketbook can handle it, pick it up. And if you can, if your pocketbook can handle picking up more than one, pick. And I'm pretty probably sure this is done in a four pack, being the 11 percent. Uh, spring for the four pack. Drink one fresh, and like I said earlier, drink one at two or three years. Drink one at five or ten, fifteen, even twenty years, and see how the beer comes together and combines and gets more. Uh, appealing more more complex if you will so if you've had this one from uh, uh, Dark Horse Brewing this is their bourbon barrel age plead the fifth this is the 2013 edition five years old awesome absolutely awesome and, and uh, if you drink it when it's fresh and it seems a little hot sell the next one uh, for a little while longer uh, sometimes the alcohol will subside a little bit like I think this one has uh, very smooth for an 11% bourbon barrel aged beer so if you had it guys let me know what you think till we meet again let's go see what's in the fridge <laughs>